Hi everybody, today we're going to learn how to make a name tag in Blender. It's going to have rounded corners called bevels. Uh, you'll learn about transformations, how to increase the size of things using uh, the transformation panel over here. You're going to add text and a hole. Uh, by using bool it's called booleans to make an object a negative, to cut a hole in something, like as you see here. Let's begin. File new, general. Uh, add mesh cube. <clears throat> if you click this add cube section here, uh, you can increase the size of it. So let's do, I don't know, that's good. But we want to change the scale completely on each side. So to do that, you click this area. It's a little arrow here. Or press N as in new. And it'll show this up. So if you press N, it sh hides, show it again. Dimensions. Uh, the X, which is the red axis here. Let's do 80. Enter. Uh, y, let's do 30. And Z, 5. Cool. The scale is, we have to reset the scale because we're going to add rounded corners and it's just a weird thing in Blender, you have to reset it. So to reset it, just do Control A. Think about instead of like A to select all, just Control A resets things. So scale. Oh, sorry, click on it first and then do it. Control A, scale, and now see how it kind of went close to one. For some strange reason, if you make this all one, just as is, it changes these numbers. But if you do Control A and do that, it, it zeroes it out, but doesn't, it's just weird. Just one of those weird things you gotta do. All right, N to hide that panel. And let's go into, uh, let's add bevels, the rounded corners. To do that, let's go to edit mode or press tab to go to edit mode after you selected the object. And edge mode, that middle button, or press 2 on the keyboard. Select that corner, hold the shift key, that corner. I'm still holding the shift key. Now I have three. I'm just going to take my hand off the shift key, click on the scroll wheel, zoom around, zoom, zoom. Hold the shift key again, click on the edge. Now we have all four edges, corners selected. Uh, edge and bevel edges. It's kind of sharp, so, so I'm just going to move my mouse like this. And then use your scroll wheel to increase the, it's called the subdivisions. So I'm just going to scroll so it looks like that. And just however, however you want it. So I'm going to click on like, I don't know, that. Bevel is complete. Press tab to go back to object mode, add text. Doesn't look like anything happened. Uh, let's just move tool and drag the blue up. It's just really small. So let's make the scale bigger. Click in scale and then drag the white circle. Just drag it around so it's normal. Let's do it again. All right, cool. To change the text, just click this button, this little green button next to the text. Backspace. Put your name. And let's add a, uh, let's embed, uh, let's click on the A right there, and extrude, let's extrude it, there we go, geometry, extrude, just drag this number, uh, like that, it's 0 .085 millimeter, 
times, whatever it is. And that's about it. So again, to edit the text is that green little thing, the green curvy looking icon, and then you can just backspace, type in the name. Uh, the A right here will give you all the options for text, really it's just geometry, and then just drag this extrude to give it that extrusion. Object mode, selection tool, click on it, and move. Drag it, drag it, let's scale it now, scale, oops, uh, scale here. Uh, drag the white circle to scale the whole thing. And you can also just do, uh, yeah, the move tool. Click on Z, click it again, no, never mind. <clears throat> I want this to be there, so let's just rotate, click on it, move tool, drag it down, move tool, move, and let's zoom in, and let's turn snapping off, I don't need that, just kind of go, let me just zoom in so you can see what's going on. As you drag it down, you can, you can see when it kind of goes in. You just doop, see that? Like the, the line shows up with the orange underneath it. That means it's kind of like going like in the material beneath it. Next, so just move it around and center it how you want it. And now let's add the hole. Add mesh uh, cylinder. Move it over. Let's scale it. It's kind of huge. Just like do like that, and then let's use the blue one to scale it only on the z-axis. Cool. Now to cut a hole to make this a negative shape, just click on the the base layer and uh, wrench add modifier boolean so right now you just said hey I want to make a, a boolean is pretty much you can like have objects interact with each other in different kind of ways like if I want to combine this with that you can combine it you can make it a negative it's hard to explain but Anyway, you just say, hey, well, what object would you like to interact with this object? So, eyedropper, click on that little cylinder thing. Make sure that says difference. That means it'll, like, subtract this shape from that and apply. Click on it and delete. And now you got the hole. All right, let's export this for 3D printing. Uh, edit, preferences. <clears throat> Add-ons, search for mesh, mesh, and then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, print, and it'll look like this, mesh 3D print toolbox, just check it, and close it, then go to the arrow right here, or press N, it's not showing up, so let's go, let's just click on this. And that it shows up when you click on stuff. I right, just press all A for all. 3D print, check all. Export. We won't get in too much to what all this is. Just it's a simple model, so we don't have to worry too much about it. The most important part is just exporting it as an STL. So pick a folder, click a folder. Uh, pick your Pick a folder somewhere where you want to save it. Accept to say I want that folder to be the one where it saves to. Uh, STL is going to be the format of the file type and export. Cool, it's saved. And then if you want to see it, it's over in the uh, in your folder. It should be in the where you just saved it. You could you could have also not have used the three D print section. You could have said A to select all, or use the selection tool to select everything, but A is just the better way to do it. 
file export STL. You could have done that as well. And then just, you know, wherever you want to put it. Uh, documents, your name, call it something. Uh, tag, enter. And it adds the STL and an export STL. There you go. We're all ready for printing.